Let's talk about the most common question that all React developers ask a lot, which is, is Context API replace Redux or what should we use, Redux or Context API? So let's understand this. So Redux and Context API both are used to manage our React application state. In simple words, Redux and Context API can use to share data between components in our React application which makes state management process easy and simple. But they are used depending upon what kind of application we are building. So Redux mostly used in large scale applications which have complex state management like social media or e-commerce sites. But Context API is used in small or medium scale applications which don't have complex states like to-do application or movie rating sites. So Redux is like a big engine and Context API is a small engine. Both work the same way, but for some big cars, you need a big engine and for small or medium cars, you need a small engine. If you already worked with Redux, you probably know for setting up Redux, we have to write some boilerplate code, which is not very useful in small applications because we can do the same with Context API in less code. Another difference, we can use Redux with any kind of JavaScript application like React, Angular, Vue or even with the vanilla JavaScript. But Context API is only limited for React applications. So to sum up this, Redux is a great tool for state management if you are building large scale application or if you are building small application but in future you will make it large then in my humble opinion you can use Redux. But if you know you are making your application just for small or medium scale then Context API is good for you. Of course you can switch it into Redux if you want it. Now if you are going to work for any company then your manager will tell you to use Redux or not. So it's beneficial for you to learn Redux and Context API both. If you want to learn Redux from scratch, then I created the Ultimate Redux course 2023. In this course, I explain Redux and Latex Redux toolkit in very simple and easy to use manner. Link is down in the description box. So it's clear, Context API will not replace Redux. And also, you don't need to use Redux in every application. Just see what you are going to create and choose specific tool according to your need. So that's it for today. Comment out your thoughts and questions related to this topic. I love to read your comments. See you in the next tutorial.